In this video, let us learn about data redundancy which leads to data anomalies. Consider the table student department having attributes, student ID, student name, department ID, department name and department phone. The first two attributes represent student information and the last three attributes belong to department information. Whenever a new student is inserted, the department information is repeated. The same piece of information is stored in the table multiple times. That means there is a redundancy in storing department information. In simple words, redundancy means repetition. Data redundancy occurs when same data is stored in two or more separate places. Because of redundancy, a number of problems arises. Data redundancy will lead to problems in handling data known as data anomalies. There are three types of anomalies, insertion, updation and deletion. Consider the same table student department. Suppose we have a new department metallurgy. No student has joined the department yet. Could we insert a department without a student? We cannot insert a department who has no students as student ID will have a null value allowed as student ID is the primary key. No way for entering the details of department unless we enter the details of a student in the department. This problem is known as insertion anomaly. The inability to insert valid data into database due to the absence of certain other data is called insertion anomaly. Assume that the phone number of information technology has been changed. To update the value, we have to update multiple rows. What if the department phone is updated in one place and not the other places? The same object has different values. This leads to data inconsistency. When redundant data is updated, data inconsistency may occur due to partial update of the data. This problem is known as update anomaly. Student 3 is the only student in the department computer science. Can we delete student 3 and keep department information? We cannot delete student 3 without losing department information as student 3 is the only student of that department. When we delete student 3 from the database, com complete information about computer science department will be lost. This problem is known as delete anomaly. A delete anomaly occurs when deletion of some information leads to loss of some other valid information. In summary, data redundancy leads to three major problems, insert anomaly, update anomaly and delete anomaly.